everyone, welcome to the online course of international business correspondence. Today's course content is counteroffer. Counteroffer. We plan to learn how to write such business letters through three cases to learn how to write such business letters. We hope that through learning, everyone can infer and grasp some basic principles and methods of writing business letters. First, let's analyze the first case. Price is a crucial part of the entire business process. Price often directly determines whether an order is completed. If the interval between client reorders is more than a month or the order quantity increases, inquiring about prices and bargaining are common practices. A more appropriate price is beneficial for both parties. The text clearly states the price that can be offered to the other party, which is 20 United States dollars and 65 cents. However, confirming the price also needs to meet a condition. The two orders need to be placed simultaneously with a certain quantity for the price to be appropriately discounted. This is reasonable and acceptable for both parties. When discussing prices, both parties appeal to emotions and reasons. Faced with market competition pressure, the bear has to lower the supplier's price. In the process of price negotiation, it is also necessary to stick to a reasonable price. The seller succinctly explains to the client that the price offered is indeed very favorable and such a favorable price, especially offered to the other party, hoping that the cooperation between them can be effectively achieved. Summary. The use of language should be concise yet persuasive. During negotiations, take a step-by-step -step approach, methodically and systematically. Grasp market information and analyze client psychology. Always maintain a friendly and harmonious atmosphere during communication. Now, let's study the second case. Quantity and price are inevitably linked. When the purchase quantity is large, the price will naturally be more favorable. Both parties should understand each other. The seller should try to offer the best price, and the beer should also try to increase the purchase quantity. The minimum order quantity is a requirement for a specific order from the factory. Each order must be based on a certain quantity to be scheduled for production. If the order quantity is small, the material scrap rate will be high, and the consumption of labor and machinery will also be significant greatly increasing the total production cost in the business negotiation process, the salesperson needs to communicate with the client to reach a consensus. The first quotation usually only quotes the price for the minimum order quantity. When replying to the client, in addition to answering the client's questions, you can also appropriately ask some questions. We should try to use different methods to search for client information and understand the client's actual needs. Based on the company's actual supply capacity, recommend more products to the client to give them more choices and increase cooperation opportunities. The quotation should be concise and clear, indicating key information, such as trade terms FOB, CIF, EXW, etc., shipping port, price, minimum order quantity, product features, product specifications, etc. Some buyers like to overstate the quantity to get a lower price, but the actual order quantity is not large. In such cases, we need to thoroughly understand the beer situation and find out the beer's real order quantity and required delivery time. If the product has many styles or varieties to choose from, you can appropriately recommend to the client based on the client's market and preferences. Two to three products give the client options, but not so many that it becomes overwhelming. When introducing products, you can include exquisite pictures so the client can see at a glance. Consumer preferences in different countries will vary. The appearance of the product often directly affects the product's sales. Therefore, the seller needs to carefully select products suitable for the local market. While recommending products, appropriately express our expectation of cooperation in the email. Next, let's study the third case. At the beginning, mention calling the client to show that we value the cooperation with the client. Product price increases are a major issue because product prices generally decrease rather than increase. Sincerely explain to the other party the actual reasons for the price increase, such as the U.S. dollar exchange rate falling, raw material prices rising, making the factory passive and bringing enormous pressure. The price increase is unavoidable. 
and requires the other party's understanding and support. Accepting the original quotation also requires briefly explaining the reason. If not explained, the other party might think it's a game of accepting or increasing the price at will. For example, you can say that considering the long-term cooperation between both parties and the tremendous support given, after effort, the boss agreed to the original price with the company, bearing the pressure of rising costs. We hope for closer cooperation in the future. I hope that through learning the above three cases, students will gain insights. Okay, that's all for today's class. Goodbye. Now, please complete a few exercises.